Welcome back for another bubble tip. And today we're talking about arbitrary text and some really cool operators that I love to use within bubble. So let's get started right away with my first operator, which is isn't live version formatted as text. So this is a really fun operator that allows you to read your app version and to provide logic for if it is a test environment compared to if it is the production environment. Now, a very popular use case for this would be your Stripe product. You have a product for the dev environment and test environment and a product for the live environment. So yes, being your dev and no being your live, you can create your dev product key right here and your live product key here. And then this operator will read what version it is and then route the correct data. So that's a really fun one. Another one that I just love is arbitrary text. And you can use arbitrary text in so many different ways. And there's some really fun ways to do it. One of the ways that I like to use arbitrary text is if you're stacking expressions or conditions. And if for some reason you think that might have to change or you're doing three or four conditions in a row, well, you can use arbitrary text to make it really easy to adjust whatever conditions those are without losing the rest of the condition. Because you know, sometimes when you place a condition at the first part, and then you have three or four other different ors and ands, and then you gotta go back and modify the first part, well, you'll lose that entire condition. But if you use arbitrary text for your conditions or expressions, then you won't lose it and you keep your place. So that's one really fun way to use it. Another scenario that we can use arbitrary text with is when you might be sending emails, something like a postmark or a send grid, where you need to send the body text through that API call. So instead of actually writing out all of your body text, all that kind of stuff, you should place it in your arbitrary text because then it makes it really easy to have that email body. But then if you ever need to switch things around or create multiple events, you can just easily copy and paste that body into any kind of expression rather than having all this text to deal with. So just handling a large amounts of text and to ensuring that you have your order with your new expressions and your conditions is just some of the ways you can use arbitrary text among many others. So arbitrary text, some of these fun operators are great for your systems and you should be using them when it makes sense. So I hope you enjoyed this bubble tip for today and I'll see you for tomorrow for more. Thanks.